back to the channel, Jamie Fern Colors. I'm Jamie, and today we're gonna be looking at these awesome color charts that I found on Etsy. They are from Be Sassled, I believe is how you would say the name. I will leave it in the description box down below so that you can find them if you would like to purchase them. So the one I have here for you today, this is a Copic color chart for um, skin tones, which we're always looking for good skin tones, right? I mean, that's probably one of the biggest things people look for is um, how to color skin, you know, in um, pencil or in marker. And so this, you can try out a whole bunch. They give you the different um, colors to try with your Copics. And then they also give you a, um, whoops. A, a blank page that you can write your own in and try your own color combinations. So that is awesome. We love that. So you could even download it and just use this page and print it on whatever paper you want for whatever material medium you want. So that's awesome. I love that. So we're going to do some Copic practice here with our color chart. I love it. I've picked a few to do so we can see different um, color combinations. The paper that I printed this off onto was the Hammerhead cover page or whatever. I will link it in the description box down below as well. It's probably your cheapest alternative to the Copic paper and it's awesome. You get a big pack of it and I love it. Use it for everything now. Um, I believe Colorfully Optimistic told me about this paper and I've used the Copic paper. I've used the Spectrum Noir paper. This is by far the cheapest and it works beautifully, beautifully. So um, yeah, I will leave it in the description box as well. So I want to I've already done some of the skin tones. I mean, obviously it takes <laughs> time, but um, I want to do one on each page with you and get um, a few, you know, ideas of, of what this has to offer, what it's giving you. Okay, so this one right here is giving us E um, triple O, E double O, E 11, and E 21. So I have those right here. All right, so I'm gonna start with my lightest color, put it in the box there, and then color in her face. I don't do them perfectly, this is not, I do them quickly, and if I get some in the eye or in the hair, I don't care because this is not a masterpiece. This is to see what the colors look like. So then I'm gonna to go to E21, I'm gonna put that in maybe some of the corners, the shadows there. Okay. Then E11. Ooh, that might be even darker, so I'm going to put it back in the corners. Maybe right next to her nose there. Okay, and then the E00. We'll stick there and blend this out a little bit down the side of her face. I'm just gonna go right over her lips because we don't care. But it gives us a little visual of what these colors are going to look like together and what they're gonna look like on a face, right? And then we will blend it all out with our lightest color. My goodness, I think I'm gonna just touch the E11 back in this corner. So that just gives us a nice idea of what that skin tone would look like on in our piece, right? Right, love it. A little, a little bit of a pink tone in there, a pale color, maybe, you know, I like it. Okay, next one, make sure you don't, you're not stacking them because it does, you know, you do get on the back, you don't want it to bleed onto another page. All right, the second page here, I have picked this face right here. They give us, hi Siri, I'm not talking to you. Okay. 
Thanks. Okay, so E17, uh, E19, E27, and E29. And so this are right here, and they are a darker skin tone, which we love. All right, so I'm gonna take the E17. Look at it in the box and put it on her face. Get it right in there. I love this. This is such great little practice. You know, you can, you don't have to worry about them being perfect. You don't. And then when you're coloring a page later and you're like, oh, I need a skin tone. I don't know what to do. You can look and see what you have, what you want. All right, this is E29. So I'm putting it in the corners, in the shadows. Okay. And then we have E27. Which maybe I'll bring down a little bit on this side of her face. A little bit. Blend out from... Our darkest color. And then we have E19. You can definitely kind of blend out this side of her face and maybe up her nose. Up the side of her nose, not up her nose. Woo! Don't want any buggers. Thank you. I live with boys, so I get enough buggers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we can go back to the E17, which is our lightest color, and blend out that edge and see what all those colors really look like together. Oops, got it in her hair, it's okay. Ooh, I like that one, that's so pretty. I haven't really gotten into the dark colors on these charts yet, so that is fun. Love that. I really do like that one. Okay, then let's do one on the next page. This page is fun because it had a few, um, hello, funky colors or different colors. So we had like a green and a gray that you could use for your like living dead things. Um, a blue, you know, so maybe you could use for mermaid colors, whatever. I like that, that's fun. The one we are going to do, though, is this one right here, E51, 53, and E35. So the E35 is the darkest color, even though the number is smaller. So don't go by just the numbers, okay? All right, let's start with our 51. This is a nice kind of yellow-toned skin, so I thought it would be fun to do. You could use this for your Asian people or, you know, anything really, because it's still a, just a beautiful skin tone. Okay, and then E35. Okay, and then E53, which kind of helps us kind of blend that gap, you know? Okay, so we have, I'm gonna bring it down at the far side of her face, the side of her nose, blend out this color. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to that E51. Blend out so we can see what it all looks like all together. And she's beautiful. I love that. Come on, camera focus. Thank you. So beautiful color. All right. Then our last color we're going to do. No, never mind. We've got one more. We've got two more we're going to do. All right, so this one's gonna be more of a pink tone. This is 
R triple zero and R double zero and R two. So this will be a pale pinky face girl. So we've got the, you know, someone who's gonna sunburn really easy. <laughs> so we have our triple zero, our lightest one, we'll stick on there. Make sure I fill in the box too, sometimes I forget. Then the R2. Kind of put it in the deep deck there, there we go. Okay. Then the R double zero to blend it out a little bit. And you may find as you're doing all of these color combinations that you love absolutely every one of them, or you may find one that you really don't like and you never are gonna use that color, that color combination ever again. But at least it's on <laughs> a swatch chart and not on your masterpiece. You did the whole page and then you did the skin tone last and you hate the skin tone, like, no, that's just awful. So <laughs> this is a great practice for you to know what you like and what you don't like because there may be ones you don't like, like this one. I think, I don't like that one. What is this? I don't know, but it was good to try it. So, all right. So that's our pink, look, I forgot to do the square. I just told you sometimes I forget and then I did. Okay. So there's our pink toned girl. Now we'll do the last one. And our last one is one that I wrote in. So at the end of all their swatches, she gives us three squares here and then a whole page of empty ones so we can do with what we want. Or, yeah, three there. So I chose, I wanted to see, because I saw these sitting together in my storage thing, and so I want to see what they look like together. So we have E70, E71, and E74. So these are kind of like a ashy color, a mauve color. They might be great for the like, dead things or who knows, we're gonna try it and see. Then maybe it will be awful, but at least it will be on a swatch chart rather than my masterpiece, right? Because I'm sure you're all making masterpieces all of the time. No, you're not, don't worry about it. Neither am I. Some take, sometimes I make a fuddly mess. Okay, so there's the E70. Now let's jump to the E74. Ooh, we might even be able to go darker. Hmm. Let's grab the one darker just because we can. Okay, so this is E77. Let's dot that in there. Okay. Then we'll go to the 74. Okay, and then we'll go to the 71. Ooh, I am kind of liking it. It's very ashy, but I think it would be pretty for like your skeletons or your dead people or Halloween type or even a doll or just for fun. But I love that we tried it. So there she is. Let me make sure I write that this is E77 or I will forget. And then I will be going through this later and want to use that and not know what it is. So there we go. Awesome, I love this. This is so nice and I'm so glad I didn't have to come up with it because I thought of making something 
myself to do swatches and tries of Copics and I didn't want to. <laughs> You know, I have a master's in education, and one of the things that they taught us in education is don't redo something that someone else has already done. Like, if they, if it's out there, take it, use it, utilize it. Like, I mean, obviously pay for it, you know, in this case, or get permission to utilize it, but don't, don't redo the wheel if you don't need to. So I went out and I was looking for this found this beautiful, she has a ton, or this person has a ton. They've got one for hair, they've got one for fur, they have one um, for wood, it looks like. And they give you the color combinations. Can you, if I do this, can you guys see? I don't know if you can. Oh, it kind of reflects me. It's ring light there, doesn't it? Pretty bad. Um, Anyways, so they, she gives you a ton, and you can get the whole booklet in one. So that's like twelve twenty to just get everything, or you can get here's just a Copic color combinations. Um, but then she has like Prismacolor tags with numbers, so that's cool. Gives you some for Prismacolors as well. Then we've oh we've got leaves combinations for nature for metal. Um. Yeah, so I love it. Love them. I'm gonna see. Anyways, so if you're looking for some, if you've been looking for something like this, do it. And I do love, like, you buy this, you do get the, just the blank page. So you could print it off onto different paper, paper of your choice, and do whatever material you want. You could print it off onto watercolor paper and try watercolors. You could print it off onto your favorite color pencils and use whatever color pencil brand you want. So don't, I mean, even if you don't have Copics, it might be worth the, how much is it? The $3.90 just for this page. And maybe it's not worth it. Maybe you want to look for something else. Etsy's a great place to look for that. So you guys, that's all I have for today that I Love it. I'm excited to get this all filled out so that I do have something to look at when I'm looking for skin tones with Copics. And I might do this with colored pencils as well. So anyways, you guys, I hope you have an awesome week, weekend, that you find time to relax, to de-stress, throw some color around, and don't worry about making it a masterpiece. Just have fun and relax. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!